2000, we became the first school district with such a model where you bought directly from the local farmers at the local farmer's market. So they would come to the market and as they were unloading the setup, we would uh, pull up in our truck, pick up what we had called in and ordered from them, take it back to our schools, do all the preparation, and uh, the salad bar, what makes it really unique beyond buying from local farmers, it's a uh, fully reimbursable meal, meaning it offers all five components that make up a meal, and that is the fruit, vegetable, milk, the bread, and the, and the uh, protein. And so that made it very unique, and it's still unique in that way. And so uh, what they, we, uh, it went so well with the experiment that in 2000, I mean in um, 2007, in the fall, we did our first pilot, and by the year 2000, it was fully institutionalized in Santa Monica. But everyone said, that's the rich. That's the Republic of Santa Monica. We can't do that. So in 2002, I moved to Riverside as the director, a district three times the size of Santa Monica, Malibu, with huge challenges. The Food Service Fund owes the general fund $3.5 million. We had built a new central kitchen. They'd gone a million and a half over budget, and we couldn't make the half million dollar lease payment. And everyone asked me, what are you going to do? And I said, we're going to put salad bars in. <laughs> That's exactly what they did. You guys must have been there. <laughs> they laughed at me. I stand before you today as I talk about farm to school and salad bars and for those who may be critics or for those who are naysayers or for those who think you can't do something. I stand before you today uh, having salad bars in 30 of the 31 elementary schools. We eradicated the $3.2 million debt. We have a $5.8 million reserve going into this year. We grew the program at a million dollars a year for seven years. And all the while that we were paying back this money that we owed and making the half million dollar lease payment, we were investing $180,000 a year in salad bars. So why would I do that? Well, school districts suffer with perception problems and we've earned those problems. We've served, served kids crappy food for a long time. And we didn't change. We just did the same old things over and over again. And I took the experience that we had in, um, that I'd had in fast food and in fine dining and in college and university, and we applied that to school food service.